For a lot of people, when they first start learning trig, one of the first things they have to do is memorize the unit circle, as you see here. And that's really too bad because that is a huge waste of time. There's far, far, far simpler ways to do all the same things you would do when you have the unit circle memorized. So in this video, we'll talk about that. And really all it boils down to is learning two triangles. We call them the special triangles. And those are the 45, 45, 90 triangle and the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, so on these two triangles, we need to memorize what the sides are. And the sides for the 45, 45, 90 are one, one, square root of two. And for the 30, 60, 90, it's one, two, square root of three. So let's see now, how do we actually use these to do problems? So let's say your teacher asks you to do something like find cosine of 150 degrees. So the first thing you need to do then is locate 150 degrees on your unit circle. So the way I like to do that is to spin forward 180 degrees and then back up 30 degrees because 180 degrees minus 30 degrees is going to give me 150 degrees, just what I want. So that means that angle in the middle is 30 degrees. The reference angle is 30 degrees. So that means I'm left now with a 60 degree angle up top. Okay, so that is one of my two special triangles. That is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So I go ahead and fill in. In the 30, 60, 90 triangle, the sides are one, two, square root of three. And then I look real quick, do any of these need to be negative? And yes, the square root of three, because I'm going to the left square root of three. Uh, the one, I'm going up one, so that can stay positive, great. And now I can just do cosine, right? Cosine, you find the adjacent side, negative square root of three, divided by the hypotenuse, two. And there we go, we did our problem. So we can see we did not have to memorize the unit circle at 150 degrees. I just found 150 degrees, I drew my triangle, and I filled in my sides. So let's go ahead and do another one. So let's say we're doing tangent of negative 135 degrees. Okay, so let's first get a negative 135 degrees. So again, I like to think of this as I spin backwards 180 degrees and then I back up 45 degrees because 180 minus 45 is 135. So that means this angle in the middle here is 45 degrees and this last angle must also be 45 degrees. Okay, so again, that is one of my special triangles, right? 45, 45, 90, the sides are one, one, square root of two. I need to check if any of them need to be negative. They do because I'm scooting to the left one, so that's negative one. I'm going down one, that's also negative one. And now tangent, I take the opposite side over the adjacent side. Negative one over negative one gives me one. And once again, I did it there. Okay, so at this point you may feel like, eh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. I mean, I feel like I have to still memorize a lot of stuff. After all, I still have to memorize these triangles and which side goes with what. And so it seems like maybe it's more of a hassle. So there's another thing you can do to help yourself out. So here I have put the one, two, and the square root of three on these certain sides on the triangle. Well, how did I know where they go? Did I just memorize it or is there a better way? And there is a better way. What it is is on a triangle, a small angle will open up to a small side. So I look at my 30, 60, 90 triangle here. I look for the smallest angle. That's 30 degrees, obviously. So 30 degrees opens up to the smallest side. Out of my sides, one, two, square root of three, one is the smallest number. So the 30 degrees opens up to one. What's the biggest number? The biggest number is two. The biggest angle is 90 degrees. So the biggest angle, 90 degrees, opens up to the biggest side, two. And that just leaves me with a square root of three. So you can see, in fact, you don't even have to memorize which side goes with which angle. You just need to memorize what the sides are. So I just memorized for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The sides are one, two, and square root of three. And then I just figure out which one goes where. The 45, 45, 90 is even easier because you have two angles that are the same, 45. So they must open up to two sides that are the same, both one. So it's easy to figure out which one is square root of two. So if you just do it via the special triangles way, there's significantly less to memorize and you'll have a better understanding of what is actually going on. I hope that helps. If you have questions about that, there's topics you want me to cover more in detail, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get to that.
Thanks, everyone, and have a good one.